Yo, what's going on guys, it's Yaji. We are back with another video and today, man, I'm gonna show you guys some cars that you guys need to go buy or just go grab and earn right now. But before we get into it, man, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. Don't know when that is, but that's the goal for right now, man. So help us hit it, man. I'm gonna start off a little bit low with the Sapphires. We got Stephen Curry right here. Stephen Curry is like really, really solid. Now, the stats, Listen, I know the stats aren't the greatest. I'm not going to call him a god, but he moves a little bit better than what his stats say. Now, obviously, defensively, he will be taken advantage of because he just doesn't have much strength, doesn't have great lateral quickness. But offensively, Stephen Curry will get the job done. Like in domination, you're going to need one of those guys that can just get you a bucket. Stephen Curry can do that. And also, if you look at his badges, he's got Agent 3, Deadeye, Limitless on Silver. So you know he's going to be pulling it. And because the, the way the game is right now, where Silver Limitless, hell, even Bronze Limitless can have you shooting from beyond okay it's, it's actually ridiculous so you know with the way the game is working right now he's got the right badges in the right spot so it's perfect um also has blinders he's got claymore so shooting wise stephen curry is going to be stephen curry that's just how he's always been um but i would pick him up if you guys are needing a guy in domination that can just straight up just give you the buckets that you are desperately looking for the next card is Desmond Bain. Now, I know he's a ruby, so don't get scared. He's free. Okay, he's free. All you got to do is get 50 cards. And usually you get 50 cards by playing a little bit of domination. Also playing a little bit of the other modes as well. You will get cards and packs the more that you play. You can get players from those packs. And then that will also help too. And some other items. Like I'm telling you, he doesn't take too long to get. He does not take too long to get. So go get Desmond Bain. I'm telling you right now, he's got a really nice jump shot. It's silky smooth, easy to time. Um, also, moves pretty well for a Ruby, honestly. Desmond Bain doesn't have the craziest animations, but he gets by. He, he really gets by for the most part. So I would pick up Ruby Desmond Bain. Look at his badges. He's got Agent 3s. Sorry, Agent 3 uh, blinders catch and shoot claymore so you already know he's going to be the, the one of the good spot of guys in the game uh green machine open looks i'm telling you go get desmond bane because he's going to be really nice he also has sorry he also has a limitless range on him and guard up so like i just said you better go get him because he's free he doesn't take too long to get okay now glenn rice glenn rice i'm not gonna lie to you is actually really cool so his jump shot did change a little bit but listen don't let the stats fool you okay he's got really good three ball all that stuff like that right and then here's the kicker his, his, his badges okay his badges are the kicker so he's got asian three blinders catch and shoot claymore corner specialist uh pig dodger all of that on gold and then on silver on silver he's got limitless <laughs> limitless bro on him on, on silver which is crazy honestly because like, like i just said with stephen curry li silver limitless even bronze limitless the badge is low-key broken so guys go get glenn rice i'm telling you his jump shot changed a little bit but you'll be just fine so i'm going to show you guys three more options you guys could pretty much pick up if you have a little bit more of flexibility in your budget you know as far as like your mt goes or if you have a good amount of vc left over um john stockton would be the first person i look into if you guys need a point guard um if you look at his badges right here giant slayer bailout dimer needle threader uh special delivery unpluckable relay passer touch passer so obviously the playmaking badges he's got it on lock and then for his defensive badges, he's got glove, interceptor, uh, and right stick ripper all on silver. So you know he's going to be kind of annoying if you, you know, don't play the right way against him. He can really mess up your day. Now, I wish he had clamps, but to be honest, he plays good defense even without it. So does the job pretty well. And if you guys look at his stats right here, I mean, 86 three ball, 82 mid range uh 90 ball handle 90 pass accuracy 86 steel 86 perimeter really solid right now so if you're looking to have a nice team to like take it to domination i would add john stockton just to make sure he can kind of like you know run the floor a bit because every team needs a solid point guard so if you guys 
have enough MT. You could probably have like John Stockton as your starter, Curry as your backup if you, you know, had the flexibility at the moment. But that's a really good, nice, uh, you know, starter to bench kind of combo you can have with those two guys. Okay, so Ron Artest. Uh, Honestly, I'm going to keep this real quick because, listen, the stats, don't look at the stats. Don't worry about these stats. As long as you know how to shoot with Ron, you're going to learn. You're going to learn how good he is. Now, defensively, 91 perimeter, crazy. 90 steal, crazy. And then you go to his uh, lateral quickness, 91. Pass recession is a 95, I think I, I, think I just saw. Yes, yeah, our 80, 80, 89. I looked at the wrong stat, but like, oh my God, like he's crazy on defense, right? And then you go to his badges, chase down, clamps, glove, interceptor, off ball pass, pick dodger, workhorse, and right stick ripper, all on gold. Like, bro, you can't deny this car, man. Challenger on silver as well. Fast feet on silver. And he's got the 94 feet badge. Like, if y'all don't have Ron on y'all team, man, y'all trolling y'all trolling go get ron man they pretty much came out today in the summer standouts promo pretty much and they were agenda based and also you could buy them in the player market which is really a w i'm glad that they didn't just put them in the player market and i'm hoping 2k does more content like this because this is really good for the game now can't wait more i'm going to show you guys how to get these two guys there are more plays you can also get within the agendas yeah so you go over here and this height this is how you get uh can't wait more in jabari Smith jr uh pretty much right here 71 points with power forwards over multiple multiplayer games what i did was pretty much just play triple threat online you guys can play clutch time and do this um you know and just score with specifically your power forward slash small forward type players or your small forward slash power forward type players or power forward slash center or vice versa you guys get the point but as long as they have power forward within their positions they count um and then you guys pretty much had to get two wins in a row uh, using three or more Rockets players. Now, I made the dumb mistake of doing this, okay? Don't make the same mistake I did, okay? Make sure they are having the right logo on them because this is what I did earlier and I felt really, really stupid. So you see this Fred Van Fleet right here that actually has a Rockets logo right next to his name, right? And then I chose this one. Don't do what I did. Use your brain unlike I did. And then a block and a steal. Now this came naturally while I was doing this challenge. So I really wouldn't like key in on it and be like, oh, I need a block and a steal. I need a block and a steal. Like, no, this, just, just play the game. You will get a block and a steal. I promise you, you don't need to force it. Now this one right here, the eight steals over multiple games. This came in the form of this challenge right here. I pretty much got that done while getting the 71 points. So that's something that also came naturally. And once again, the triple threat dunks these also came naturally you just play the game you will end up getting these things done now the rockets double double was a little bit different and i'll show you guys what i did to pretty much get the rockets double double you know it was pretty much just me going on triple threat offline getting jabari Smith jr first right because I, I already got jabari he was quick and then i pretty much just put like two goal players it was like the rockets guys i was using because i was also getting another agenda done um and I pretty much went in that game and rebounded the ball off of the other team's misses and also gave a backdoor cut. And I'll show the example of the backdoor cut so you guys can pretty much help yourselves out because that will even make it easier for you, get, for you to get the challenge done. Okay, so right there, we will leave him open. Okay, he made that shot, so we'll, just, we'll live with it. And then now we'll get the ball back. Let's go, we're gonna pass and screen away just like this right and then what we're going to do is we're going to go up here we're going to post up and then we're going to hold y as we're in between him shoot a bad shot and then boom there's a rebound just like that and then that's how we get our rebounds when we're on the offensive side of the ball you can also probably just do the points that way too so after every miss you just put it right back in so jabari Smith jr man his badges look at this claymore and open looks post fade phenom i'm not too worried about i don't really go for post face with people i'm not familiar with um, but that's really good to have those two badges in particular. I'm this feels like it stacks Doesn't it like claymore and open look so pretty much if you're running like comp freelance and he's in that corner Those two badges are gonna just absolutely light up Like there's no way he misses his open threes if he's like that open especially if he's just standing still So that's really nice to have on him um, Also, he's got guard up which pretty much means 
if he's late to the contest and it's not proper to the game that contest means nothing it's not even it's, at, that, at that point it's just non-existent to the player that's shooting the ball he's also got green machine which is pretty much going to help him out whenever he's consistently just hitting his shots so that's also nice to have uh his stats um 78 three ball but you know it's all right though his jump shot is very easy to get down you guys will be just fine as far as that goes now defensively is where i do feel like it has a bit, little bit of an issue obviously he's going to be a four you're not going to make jabari smith jr your five you you would have to be crazy to think that was a good idea so i would not go with that but jabari smith jr is a pretty solid power forward if you guys need one right now Cam Whitmore also came out today and pretty much I got to say his stats are a little bit like his stats aren't the greatest, which a lot of these rubies are not at the moment. They're not going to be juiced out like crazy, but I will say that um, like his his badges are intriguing. Like so he's got fearless finisher, free points and blow by blow by is on gold. Not many guys have blow by on gold right now in the game. So that's a pretty important badge and pretty much it's like if you guys know what the blow by uh badge is it's pretty much like this if a defender say if a defender is riding your hip and you guys know how we had the stiff arm last year well now at this point if someone's riding your hip and you have gold blow by you can pretty much just walk right past them and i'll give you guys an example okay so right here i'm going to try to size up and then i'm going to try to do this get some contact and look at that that's the blow by right there that's the blow by that's pretty much the animation you're going to get every single time when you, a defender makes contact with you and you want to get past them. Now, obviously, against better defenders, this is going to get a little bit more locked up because you don't want to spam it, obviously, because good defenders won't let you do that all game. So right here, once again, we're going to get this ISO. Oh, I can pass it back. OK, so right here, we're going to get this ISO. Right. And look, look at that. I pressed R2. You guys seen I just got right by him for a second. Like, so that that's what the badge does. We we don't have a lot of people that have that badge on gold. So for him to have it and then we can earn it, that's pretty cool. So if I helped you guys in any sort of way, make sure you guys leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, also follow my other socials, my Twitch as well, because I do stream over there really, really often. Uh, you know, so it's, it's a great time, great vibes. Listen, you want to be there also follow me on twitter where i tweet about you know my thoughts in the game and other stuff on a daily basis and uh yeah i will see you guys in the next video man later